Researchers say there's a meme you've come across that always manages to make you laugh, you know, or, or at the very least, cheer you up from a depressed state of mind. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you're having a really bad day, you know, you, you just found out your mom got uh, st stage 8 cancer and you got like 17 minutes left to live. No, 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 none of that matters because as long as you get to see that meme, your day is always made. You just have to recognize what that meme is and then save it for your rainy days. Everyone has a meme like that. You know, for example, mine goes like, <laughs> okay, okay. So it goes like, this really hot girl messages this guy and she's like, hello, how are you doing today? And the guy automatically responds with, just send me the virus link. <laughs> And what's even funnier is that she actually ends up sending him the virus link also. You know, it, it, it's a pretty simple meme, but to me, it's hilarious, you know? One guy's a scam artist wanting to install malware and adware on someone's PC, while the other guy is so disillusioned with life to the point where he doesn't even care anymore. On the other hand, we also have a certain thing out there that always ruins our day. You know, I, I can't say exactly what yours would be, but I already know what mine is unpopular opinions oh wait may, may, maybe i should say in quotes unpopular opinions t t 10 out of 10 times anyone prefaces what they're about to say with unpopular opinion it's usually a pretty popular opinion you know it, it usually goes something like uh, uh unpopular opinion i don't know about you guys but i think that people that kill people are bad oh my god is he allowed to say that is he allowed to say those words? Tri triple double bonus points if they add change my mind to the end of it. Because th that's what they're really looking for. A mind change. You know, now, now let's be nice. You know, let's, let's be nice. Most of the time, some sad soul on the internet uses this type of format to express their unpopular opinion. It's because they want clout. You know, they want attention. An unpopular opinion. There isn't anything wrong with wanting clout and attention as long as you aren't being dishonest. I'd much rather instead of them saying unpopular popular opinion they, they they say uh give, give me twitter likes give me reddit good boy points give me followers you know people that say unpopular opinion aren't inherently evil but they are being deceptive now now that being said th this still should not go unpunished you know if it was up to me anytime someone says the two words unpopular opinion in the context of them giving a popular opinion their financial credit score should drop by 10%. It's like that, uh, what is it? The, the full metal alchemist concept of equivalent exchange? You know, you, you gotta give something to get something. You wanna lie on the internet? Fine. But good luck buying a house, you lying ass bitch. G good luck getting approved for a loan, you bum ass nigga. Hold up. Time out. Time, twee, twee. Let's have a look at our sponsors for today. Oh, wait. We don't have any. Cause we never have any. Okay, now back to the video. One of my main problems with the uh, unpopular opinions is the fact that it makes people with already agreed upon popular opinions feel like the underdog of IQ, you know, <laughs> some sort of unrecognized genius. Oh, that guy just said that it was an unpopular opinion that hating people because of the color of their skin is bad? Ain't no way! Well, I was thinking the same thing, but I mean, I I've never heard anyone say that before in my entire history of being alive, you know? We really out here being some in intellectuals on the low. I might even run for president to make this type of ideology a popular opinion. Man, if my mom could see me now, she'd be so proud. Don't take out the trash! Oh, shut up! Shut up! I'm a, I want my share my unpopular opinion! To all those unpopular opinion abusers, I don't hate you, right? But you are a loser. You, you gotta recognize that. You just like me. You're a loser. You didn't get any ass in high school. You know, got got touched inappropriately at a young age in your father's basement by two girls that were supposed to be babysitting you. And now you just want everyone to hear you talk. You know, you want people to listen because on the inside you hurt. I get it, right? But listen closely. If anybody watching, anyone in my social circle ever prefaces a popular opinion with the label of being an unpopular opinion, number one, I'll know, all right? <laughs> it doesn't matter where, where you say it or send it, I don't know. You know, it could be a Twitter account with zero followers. I don't know. It, it could be you just writing it down on an abandoned desk at school. I don't know. It could be a fail to send message because your phone was on airplane mode. Trust me. I'll know. And number two, I'll be right at your door, standing there side by side with my lawyers, 
ready to deduct 70 to 60 points off of your credit score.